and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for September the 14th, 2021. I am Mom. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? Apologies for not being on last night, but I was going to be on last night. And then I found out that I'm going to have to work late on Wednesday, so instead of being able to go to class on Wednesday, I thought I'll go to class on Monday. Good morning, Russell. How are you? It has been a bit. How you been doing? Anyway, the upshot is I went to class last night, got home at midnight, and uh, I'm here today. But I wasn't here last night. How has life been treating you? Oh, right. Partisans would have done it. <laughs> okay, that would have been better. I was trying to remember what the shortcut was to Nimbus. Sorry, not Nimbus. To, uh, yeah, to Nimbus, if you don't have it already. I love it when the endeavors are stupid easy. Speaking of endeavors... I know the endeavors always come in a pattern. Oh, somebody set it off already. All right, well, fine. I don't have to make my life hard. Well, that was easy. I, I really didn't expect that to be quite that easier. Oh, nice. Bigger, cheaper, better location, and prettier. Um couldn't ask for anything better. Well, congratulations on that. I'm here in my relatively spacious apartment, thinking about whether or not I want to splurge and move across the street to the prettier apartments. The quieter apartments, that's the bigger thing. Or, if I want to move further away, or if I want to move Way the hell away anyway. Always a big question. All right, today we got complete Borg TFOs destroy Undine ships in the battle zone. I had that yesterday. And send Kathy ships in the battle zone. Ugh. Okay, how many reroll tokens do I have left? I have 42 left. Do we want to reroll that? I hate to use my re-rolls. I'm trying to save them only for the Lucari ones. And even then, I think I'm just not going to bother. Okay, Borg TFO and Undine ships in the Dyson battle zone. Well, let's start with the Borg TFO. Well, that was easy. Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I will say, location is huge. Where I'm at is maybe a five-minute walk to the grocery store. Actually, two different grocery stores. The gym, great pizza place, Chinese food, Greek food, Thai food. Um, ground build, you sent me? Yes, I put it on... Not this account. I actually wanted to put it on this account, but I don't have all the toys. I put it on one I already had most of the toys. And yes, Trey Nice. I'm um, trying to think who I put it on. But it was a nice build. It works very well. And I, as I said, I think I want to put it on this one because this ground build is meh. Food. Well, the fact that I'm a three-minute walk from the grocery store is actually the reason I might want to walk or move away because my apartment's here, the grocery store's here. To get to it, you have to walk all the way around. Nope, not a big deal. But that means I hear the trucks moving in and out all night long when they're making deliveries, and it gets really noisy during the summer because I don't believe in air conditioning. This is evidenced by the fact it's really warm in here, and I turned off the fan, which means I'm going to go open the window in just a moment, but this first. Yeah, if I move to the apartment buildings one block that way, I'm still within three minutes of the grocery store and my son's apartment, but it doesn't face the parking lots. So it's much quieter. 
Hey, good morning, WC. So I was doing this the other day, obviously I do this all the time. And it was with a really interesting team. It's the first time I've failed all the optionals. Ooh. Option lander. Um half the team went no. Half the team went to the right. The team that went to the left was underpowered. I mean, the whole team was underpowered, so it took forever. I came in underpowered, so I'm just as much to blame on that one. Taking out the probes did not happen. with the pugs, sometimes you don't know if they've got a plan and just didn't bother to inform the extra person about it. ground build. I don't remember any negatives about it. I gotta go back and find it and play it again, to be honest. I've been very fixed on trying to get this Klingon through the Klingon arcs. And also getting uh, my new recruit started. Finishing up story missions. I'm going to finish the story missions, gosh darn it. It's the last thing I do this year. As I said, I remembered liking it to the extent of I think I need to put it on more of my tunes. That's actually a good description. It kind of felt natural. Seriously, do I have to come in and take care of this thing too? Anybody know when the California class is going to be coming out? The Cerritos?
I'm gonna name mine the I Got a Present for Ed. I told him about that when we were chatting on Saturday, and he was actually upset that he might not have, have his internet back in time to get it. So I thought, if I can get a Cerritos to give to Ed, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, I totally get that, Russell. I trust WC to keep me up to speed on everything outside of the game and my very small universe. All this for one TFO? How so? How are they not leaving you alone? Didn't you finish all your classes? Or do they want you back on staff? Well, that was one set. Undine battle... Uh, sorry. Undine ships in the battle zone. Ugh. So do you have a graduation ceremony, or is it all on internet these days? Which one do we want to do first? Let's do this one. We might have to come back and do Gonkrit tonight. Ah! Nice! So there's a chance, of course, maybe not in your country, but uh, there's a chance that uh, you might actually get to go to an event. My son chose not to go to his graduation. I did. I went to my graduation. Captain, you are in the Undine battle zone. Our goal is to close of course, I wasn't a... to destroy Undine planet killers. Okay. I was an adult and didn't tell my parents I was going to college. Oh, come on, really? You don't want to kill... You don't want to kill other things. This is Voth. I don't need Voth. I need Undine, damn it. Excuse me. I shouldn't swear. <laughs> you think? Let's see, what do I want to do? I do not want to do space bagels. Well, if somebody wants to pay me, you know, like seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars a year to sit around the house, I can play videos all day long, Russell. I, I'm totally good on that. Much as I am enjoying my job at the moment. November 2022 is quite a time away at the moment. You know, maybe, maybe I should do this when I get home. 
Everybody's here trying to kill things. As you may or may not be aware, as we get older, we don't sleep as well as when we're younger. And I'm currently having the joy of sleeping about four to five hours a night. Which isn't particularly healthy. It's not insomnia. You know, I'd get home from work or whatever do my thing, lie down, fall asleep, then I wake up at 3. And I'm completely not tired anymore. And then of course 2 in the afternoon, I'm really tired and now we're doing the coffee thing. Now, mid-30s, if you're dealing with insomnia, and if it's just, you know, been short-term, that's one thing, but if you've been dealing with it for a long time, you might want to check with your doctor. I mean, there's all the things they tell you to do. Don't work out just before you go to bed. Don't have a heavy meal just before bed. Do turn off your electronics, all that stuff. But I'm sure you know all of that. We're at eight. Two more to go, and I'll have two things done. One to go. Just one little ship, guys. Just one little ship. Hey, another one done. I think we'll let Gonkra go till this evening. We'll get out of here so these people can enjoy that. Ooh. I got stuff. Yay, stuff. Let's jump up to the other account. Yeah, sleep apnea can be kind of serious, so maybe you don't want to do that. You do want to get looked at. So the last time I had really, really insomnia, is insomnia was when I was pregnant. Which makes a little bit of sense, because, I mean, your whole body's completely messed up. Great, I have more Zinkethi ships in the battle zone. WTF. Tetrion damage in space and Tholians on Nukara. Well, I'm going to go deal with the Tholians, and I think we're going to play some missions. Did we not finish this one? Oh my goodness. I know what we're going to go do when we're done here. Let's go kill some Tholians and then we're going to do that one. Tholians. Seriously? I don't have a skip in here? Okay. That's interesting. Let's do that one. Yeah, no. Well, there's other things they can do for it. There's appliances that keeps your tongue from riding up in the back of your throat. Back of your throat? So that it's not cutting off your breathing. Side sleeping, things like that. 
hopefully they just don't go here wear the mask because that's kind of permanent plus there's a lot of maintenance with it everybody gets some sleep apnea every now and then that's what my son's always arguing for he, he's waiting for transhumanism <laughs> Yeah. Problem with asking for a refund is you might not like what they think it's worth these days. Yay, it's thinning the hive is back, yay. I thought 250. I understand there's a new um, Matrix movie out. What, I didn't turn it up? There. There we go. You're on. How many do I have to kill? 60. I don't know where I want to go, and this is, isn't it? Really going all the way through puberty all over again? Uh-uh. There we go. I'm in my happy place now. Improved graphics and upgraded weapon systems? I, is that an option on the updated bodies? I mean, I, it's totally good if it is. Yeah, I like my deteriorating memory. I only remember the things I want to remember. Don't remember all the stupid things I've done. I will say I do get bizarre memories of things that probably never happened. So much easier when you've got the crystals. Do I not have crystals on this one? I did not have the crystals on this tune. Ooh, which means I don't have them on this account. <laughs> a 
Okay, it's a good line. I have televisions, which I use for computer monitors because they are old and cheap and I've got them. Watching TV, though, that's mainstream TV. Obviously not for the last two years, because I've been here. And we don't have the televisions. You folks with your fancy technologies and televisions and all that stuff. Get this guy done. watch TV though when I get back to Chicago. There's a couple of stations that run really old television shows, like from the 50s, some from the 40s. It's kind of entertaining. Nine to go here. What have I got there? Four to go? Three? Well, that's inconvenient. This guy's okay. I think we'll head out of here. I got my, oh great. Tetrion damage in space. Hmm. Zenkethi ships in space. Hmm. <laughs> yes, that happens to be true incompetent on top of everything else. <sighs> I believe it was Peter the Great, though, that was, well, intelligent and capable, wanted, I believe he's the one who wanted St. Petersburg built, and told the peasants to go build it. Didn't give them equipment, didn't give them tools, didn't give them housing, didn't give them food but expected this beautiful place to be built. Okay, so what was I going to do? Measure of morality. We're going to go back and work on that one. Let's go see if we can finish up this first half, because I really want those Tetrions. You can kind of do that with uh, Nutholia, kind of. Go down there, drop the crystal prisms, walk to the area next to it, drop the obelisks, go back and have a cup of coffee. Your participation in the trial has been informative thus far. But we require more data to make our decision. Another scenario has been prepared. Enter the portal when you are ready to begin. This way. Hang on, I want to change clothes. Let's get that. I think we have enough of that there. I think I want different toys. you on since I don't have any backups and my nano puppies and what's Rova got going today don't need that you can have that
got a triple. What else do? Let's give me that triple instead. And you can go there. Alrighty. It makes me wonder in a Star Trek universe, would there be Federation planets the way we have National Park? I would love to come to Russell, but the reason Ed and I didn't play this as a team is because it's a solo mission. Otherwise, we would have finished this one up a long time ago. I'm slowly chewing through all the solo missions. It's nice to have them for Tetrion damage. Yeah, you know, that's a really good point, WC. They, they might... And they might not. Just because telling somebody, hey, your planet's going to be a uh, park planet, and no, you can't do any industrialization. This place isn't familiar. Either of you know where we are? I know where we are, I just don't know when. Knowing that's going to Good morning, Mr. Dave. Let's take a look at those consoles and see if there's any useful information in them. This is science officer's log. They set up a plan. This is a recent entry. But the area is deserted. We need to know yeah. more. Science office, I need to get to leave. Everything matched? Do you have a question? We were so close to this. To failure. To death. Okay, there we go. We need to set up the phase discriminators at that console. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Well, still. I like to call it binary acting. Now we need to prepare the stasis acting mode engaged. So far, so good. We need to use that console to prime the EMP next. Almost finished. Use that console to align the containment field. I actually really don't enjoy this mission. We've, We've set up the trap. Now all it needs is the bait. Me. Yes. Assuming things go as they did before, the Red Angel will appear in time to save my life. And if she doesn't, problem solved? I've done all I can with these ancient phase discriminators. Getting one shot, so make it count. No pressure. Ready when you are, Commander. Right. Do it. Initiate sequence on my mark in five, four, three, two. <laughs> Wait, abort. Do not engage. Picking up a massive surge of tachyon radiation. So has anybody done the revamped uh, temporal recruits, especially Battle of Caleb 4? It's, it's not deep storytelling, Russell. I wish. I wish it was great storytelling. So my question is, on uh, Battle of Caleb 4, the shadow alien that's directing Kor and the Nakul, who is that? Or have we never figured that part out? Or am I just forgetting it all? For reasons that I can't talk about at the moment, I'm in the process of rewatching all of Deep Space Nine. Transfer the sphere data...
and I realize how much of it I've forgotten, but it's been, I don't know, 20 years since it was on, originally? 25? The sensor log said Discovery went down with all hands. Struggle is pointless. Controls using members of Discovery's crew as shock troops. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's a good puppy there. If I leave the field, I'll return to the future. You have to fight control without me. Okie dokie. Control can't be killed with regular weapons. And it needs something unconventional. Try to magnify the force. It'll disrupt it. Open it and lure it to me. I'll distract it while you give it a magnetic shock. Magnetic shock. It'll take several shocks yep. to make it for good. That's a thing. It's weakened. Lead it to the platform. Over here, sweetie. Well, come on. Come on over here. There we go. Has anybody ever seen the movie This Planet Earth? Two humans are being transported via some sort of space warp to a new planet. And to protect them, they're put into these little cryo tubes. And at some point, their hands are grabbed onto these things and they go, they're magnetic. And of course, having seen this on MST3K, they probably go, and if our bodies were made of metal, that would mean something. I'll get you about over here, Mr. Control. I don't think it likes my Alachi Walker. It's weakened. Lead it to the platform. It's distracted. Give it another blast. Magnetize the floor again. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that, but I like the idea. Come on up here. Here, boy. Here, boy. What? What? 
what, what, what? Nanites to take over the future version of me. I can try to inoculate future Burnham with my own nanites. This should prevent control from accessing the speed. Too risky. The suit could wind up trapped here. I could do that, but losing that data, all of that knowledge gone forever. Consider this the means of eliminating control could be held within the sphere data as well. Deleting it could be a fatal mistake. Never knows how great her eyelashes are in this. We need to mark it seven of nine mascara. Look at that. Look at those eyelashes. Worked. The sphere data is secure within the suit, and future Burnham is immune to control nanites. As I predicted, her biosignature has been altered enough to prevent her from using the suit. This red angel will fly no more. Unfortunately, we have a new problem. At the end, before it beamed out, I think what was left of control merged with some of my nanites. Yeah, and now there's a board control hybrid version of me running loose somewhere. Whatever the Excalbians are doing here needs to stop now. Rest easy. The trial of Aesop IV has come to an end. My apologies, friends. These events must have taken a heavy toll upon all of you. We should return to speak with Yarnik now. Let us leave this place. Come along, my Do friend. I get the Maybelline ads while well, I see them? Yes. Uh, weird. So weird. The funny thing is, you know, you see these women with these huge extended eye, uh, eyelashes and heavily made up, and now the new... Uh, okay, this is probably not your niche, guys. But you can get basically eyelash extensions, which are not glued to your eyelids like eyelashes where they're they're like um, hair extensions where they're kind of sewn onto your eyelashes and then they have to be removed and your eyelashes cleaned every couple of weeks or months which is pretty disgusting but then I read that as an overall rule while nice eyelashes are somewhat attractive well, we these extremes are kind of a turn off for guys not that I know I am not wearing makeup for anybody. Because of your decision to preserve the data, control continues to exist. The fate you work to prevent, the end of all lives, will still come to pass. The future is a very mutable notion. All right, so we're done with part one here. Yarnik isn't a very impartial judge. And we got the Delphic Puddle, which is kind of meh. And the Tetrion rifles. So I guess that's something. I have been informed that Yarnik and the others wish to privately discuss the results of the trials. As much as I'd like to see what a ship of this time period is like, I'm not as optimistic as Commander Burnham when it comes to the Excalians. I think we're going to take a moment to take a break there. Better known as we're going to take a day to take a break there. And we're going to go jump in on one of my other tunes. So, men wearing makeup is getting to be quite a thing now. 
not at work. I can't see the guys at work wearing makeup. But you go out and you see more and more of it. And I keep thinking, why would you do that to yourself? And this appeal uh, applies to women as much as men. Seriously. Nice, clean skin, maybe a touch of uh, chapstick. If you want to get really fancy. The rosy colored chapsticks. Hi, Distortion, how are you? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. WC and I have a mutual acquaintance whose former girlfriend wore makeup like nobody's business. And unfortunately, because she wore it so much and so heavily, her skin was, of course, in terrible condition underneath. So then she'd wear more makeup to cover up the fact that she had bad skin. She just got into this terrible loop of bad skin, too much makeup, so more makeup, so worse skin. That's an excellent line. All ships disabled, Captain. The women at my office do not wear makeup for the most part. I've actually never seen anyone in my Captain, office wearing makeup. Stay away! They're taking control! Message from Starfleet Command, Captain. We're nice thing about masks, because so much of your face is covered, there's absolutely no point in wearing makeup. It winds up, oh, speaking of which, I hope I left that in the car or someplace. I went to class last night and realized they'd changed the laws back in Illinois about, or the regulations, recommendations about masks, no masks. So, of course, I take one with every place, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I wonder if they're going to start wearing masks in class. Because, you know, we're right on top of each other and beating the crap out of each other. So we're no in each other's faces. Station, eh. They were good. No masks. I don't like this. All right, let's see what we've got to do here. I think I saw motion in that room to the left. Oh, there's a window. Medical officer. How about we blow this up and see if we can get better image? Ah, wrong place. Okay. There she is. Stop where you are and turn about neuroparasite. Ah, the neural parasites. Have not engaged in hostilities thus far. I have seen infected employ false passivity. Scans show a slightly elevated level of it according to as a precaution. <coughs> now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. Devils are back with a vengeance. Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the auxiliary control room down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites. Do you understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt? I have secured a small amount of security. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's give everybody some toys. That. 
And you get that. And it looks like everybody's got decent weapons. Have I got decent weapons? Decent enough weapons. Let us go to shoot things. Let us be Starfleet and shoot things. Because, you know, we can. Proceed through the mess hall. Okay, is this the mess hall? That's the transport room. He did. He did indeed. All these infected people. Let's shoot them. Yeah. Because the continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may Ooh, ooh, do we actually get to play on this? Can we come up? Wouldn't that be cool if they let us go up through this and down? That would be great. Just like we get that one in, uh, oh god, which one is it? Yesterday's Enterprise? No, it's uh, Night of the Comet. We get to use the Jeffrey's tubes to go around through the this station. The control station is down the hall to our right. It's good to see a friendly there while I uh. Where are we at? Six fifty four. Let's get some more loot. Aye, this is one of the broken relays, right here. Well that's convenient. That one was easy. Just a few more to go. Alright, there are several ways through the engineering section here. Keep in mind. Parasites tend to stay in dark corners. If you want to avoid it, do your best to stay in the mid areas. But remember, the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. I was playing this on my laptop this weekend through my other account, and minimap on my laptop's like this big, and I can't see where the relays are. It took quite a while to get through everything. Our odds of success are greatest if we remain in well -lit Oh, you're no fun. Nope, can't go that way. Get that one down here. Uh, this one just needs new fuses. There we are. Good as new. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Yeah, do we want to 
want to go that one? Why not? It's got some light in it. Where is my last one? Oh, back down here. It's over here, Scotty. Now this may be a bit flicky. I'm sure it's just the graphics. But watch how Tarsi throws a grenade. Eh. He did. All right, now we need to go to main engineering. Up here. Do we have a better way of getting there? Nope, not that way. Guess we're gonna go this way. Don't get attacked by the neural parasites. Wouldn't that be cool? We can all have them clomped on us like face huggers. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, Tarsi. Ah, it looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center to see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the doors, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. <gasps> Jeffrey's tubes, yay! Look, who are those soldiers? They're definitely not stopping. Coming to get you guys. Oh, one guy's levitating in death, and the other guy's stuck in a console. Ooh, we're gonna have to finish this up because I have got to get to work. They're dying. They're dying! All of them! Salvage what you can and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin! Um, I have two aliens that are exactly aliens. Uh, ah, and... Grunty originally was an alien, but I undid Grunty to become a Tellarite because I wanted to reuse him on this. I'm trying to think if I've got another one on here. We need to talk. Actually, the name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb. So, 10% of my aliens are aliens. How's that? Tell you how far. Roughly. Just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the time. But I enjoy doing disrupt. different things every time. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. But I have two accounts, yes, so I try and have some on this account, some on that account. Worth protecting. Time's a factor. Uh, you talk too much. And I think I'm going to have to leave it here for the moment, folks, because I do need to go to work today. Despite being up till midnight and having two more super long days this week. So, 
On behalf of the Dark Mom Consortium, I want to thank everybody who joined me this morning. I really appreciate you being here. We should be back tomorrow morning, and I know we'll be back tonight at 7 p.m. to do Operation Wolf. Um, does the new story come out today? And the, the nice thing about Aliens Rasul is you can c do more with body configuration than you can with anybody else. So uh, Operation Wolf comes out today. Does the new episode come out today? Anybody know? I don't think so. Well, take care, everybody. Rasul, good to talk to you, too. We will see you in about 12 hours. And Rasul, maybe we'll see you tomorrow morning. But take care of yourself if I don't. So everyone, take care. Bye.